But speaking sure of fighting, too. can we talk about some about some moments that we've well I've witnessed you go through or is that how about this? We'll talk about it if you want to cut that, it. When I broke my fucking hand on that kid's forehead. Can wow. I can I paint the wow. picture up into what I know and then you explain the rest? You asked me this on impulsive on the I Yeah, mean, but people watch this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's do it. Let's run it back. It's a rerun, baby. <laughs> well, I guess you don't watch the other one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, well, for those of you guys that are just tuning in to, to the George show. Curious and by the George. way, and by the way, not for nothing, but we could riff a lot more about that story. Cause like they probably wrapped me up. They probably like George, speak for 30 seconds and then Back to Mike. Well, I'd, I'd rather not riff about criminal acts that I've done in the past. Acts of okay, violence. Okay, we'll just say it was Reed. Self-defense. There was so a guy we, named Reed we knew. Well, Reed is already a name that's taken <laughs> around here. I was coming back from... Well, this is your life. I can't really get in trouble for any of this, so I'm just going to say it. Um, <laughs> I came back from Trader Joe's at 1600 Every creator under the sun plus American Jeff. So American Jeff was not a creator at the moment. He was just the hottest guy in the building that everybody used, so you 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 could be outlooked by him in videos. Am I wrong or right? Until that other kid came around, we're not going to mention his name. We don't mention. Him. Wait, we don't mention why, his name. Why is he American, Jeff? Um, it, it's a long story. Actually, it's a short story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. So I worked in a barber shop, and it was like in the hood. It had all different um, uh, different types of people that worked there, mm -hmm. and I was just like this fucking young uh white kid with like hair coming down my my neck and i had like a, a there was this one guy tree tree was the man best barber cut all the wu-tang's hair mm -hmm. and he was so funny he just started calling me all american jeff because i would come in with my my school books i started cutting hair at 15 in the barbershop and uh -huh. i would have like a hat on like a fitted hat and like have a, he said i had an all-american quarterback neck that's what oh, he started saying okay. so then all-american jeff was my name, and then American Jeff stuck after that. But then everything started getting political as I started getting older, mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, if you're like uh, this way, then that means you're, uh, and I don't know shit. I don't really I feel too strongly about politics. Mm -hmm. I don't get into it, you know. I usually just spend my time just goofing around with Steve, you know, doing fun TikToks and stuff. Your, your name came from another grown man complimenting your neck? Yeah, yeah. Like That's that. how people get names, George. That's how people get <laughs> nicknames. Like well, Curious got a nickname. George. Curious George would have been a great name for this podcast. No, it wouldn't because it's already another monkey. Why did I call myself a monkey? I just literally called myself a monkey. <laughs> Bro, it, spell it with one letter different, but K. Curious with a K. Ooh. Fuck. We should have had him on our Hey, don't even, don't even give that huh because I voted for Curious George. Did you? I did. Anyway, so I was coming yesterday. out of Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> An all-American Jeff. An all-American Jeff was sitting there with his sweetheart at the time, and, and some dude was chirping at him. And this <laughs> is my moment, because I looked at him, and I'm like, what's he going to do? Because growing up, I have a friend named Kave. She's known, and he knows. And he's pumped the brakes on a lot of men in my life. So I know what it looks like when a dude is like, no, nah, I'm not tolerating that. And they humble somebody quick. But then he escorts his beautiful girlfriend upstairs, and that's, that's pretty much the end of it from there. And until <laughs> till he comes down, and, <laughs> yeah, and he beats the shit out of this guy. That was that's when I was like, damn, if I'm ever in a sticky situation, I'm calling American Jeff. We're gonna do it the American way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, premeditated, premeditated. Well, it was premeditated self defense. It yeah, because he he charged at you. We had a history, me and the kid. And um, not like he was lived in the building. Something happened. He was up to some shit. He got evicted. I ended up bumping into him on the street months later. Now, this kid, he was one of the first people to take me to an acting class. So I don't know if he felt like he put me on because of that. Yeah. It's like a community acting class. You just go in there. There's like 50 people in there. Pro probably he got a kickback from that, by the way. Because if you, if you recommend yeah. somebody, they give you kickback. Right? He did. Yeah, sometimes they'll give you like, you know free class and whatever. i paid for his class too because i was like you brought me so that's like you mm -hmm. know you know you brought me here that's cool like you're getting me to do this shake it out of my comfort zone i did appreciate it yeah. but i don't know the kid in my career you know yeah he didn't give you talent yeah yeah um thanks that's very nice very nice you um, are talented thank you uh so yeah i end up um not talking to the kid for a while he gets evicted and i see him on the street and of course, I'm like friendly, you know, I'm, I'm with my girlfriend at the time, ex-girlfriend. She's, we're going on a date. So I see this kid and he's like, don't act like you fucking, um, 
Or no, he. What did he say to me, George? Do you remember? He said, uh, <clears throat> "Don't you feel like you owe me something or something?" No, no, no. He said, "He goes, uh, don't forget what I did for you or some shit like that." Yeah, some shit he said, like, like that. Like, come, give me what what I what's do type shit. It was like yeah. that type of energy. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't forget where you came from type shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He like tried to sun you, bro. And yeah, I'm just and trying and to I'm, get like almond milk, and I'm seeing all this shit. And I'm like, yeah. this is a great morning. <laughs> and I'm with, I'm with, like, you know, now. I have my girlfriend with me, you know, like I'm not going to be embarrassed in front of her. Even if it was just us two on the street, you know, we'd fight to the death out there because of that line. And right. so he said that I was dressed up for dinner. I had these like St. Laurent boots on these slip on the slippery <laughs> Hollywood stars, the yeah. surface. So I was like, fuck, I don't want to risk it. You know, Yeah. let me just get out of here. So I took the L right there. I let him say his thing, have his fun. And I was like, baby, let's go upstairs. Um, we're not going to dinner or dinner's going to be a little late. <laughs> I go, I go and, uh, I put on like sweats and sneakers. I go oh, back downstairs. On? <laughs> yeah. I go back downstairs and I'm like, yo, what the fuck did you say to me? And right away he knew I was coming back. So he had a, a, a Trader Joe's bag <laughs> and he flings it at my face and it laser beams right here. I thought it was like bananas or something. Yeah. So I was just like going to like block it like that, but it beamed in blasted me in my face and fractured um or it was on this side of course I'm fucking <laughs> I was I was like that and it hit me and my face fucking blew up and i just after that mm -hmm. like he got that one kombucha and it's a thick kombucha bottle those yeah. things are heavy yeah it's like a bottle of whiskey that would just bam in my face mm -hmm. and so then i i end up you know a couple good right hands <laughs> hey right. you're so west side story bro like i want to see you in a musical bro just like what'd you say buddy <laughs> <laughs> no we don't do that here bro <laughs> yeah but then i had like fucking blood all over my shirt my hands broke and my face was bad swelled up bad like i had like a hematoma from how bad that impact yeah. was yeah bro so I go back upstairs. It wasn't like I just had an easy win. You know, mm -hmm. I was fucked up from that kombucha <laughs> bottle. And now I go back and everybody's like, what the hell did you just do? And obviously we didn't even, we didn't go to dinner after that point. But I went to Rudy's house, Rudy Van Cuso. Yep. And I, like he was downstairs playing piano or something by himself. And I just ran in because I knew that he had these frozen peas in his freezer. Because mm -hmm. we did a vine earlier that day that required <laughs> me to ice my face. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy.